Nursery wagging his tail. Where's Raggedy Ann? Fido asked. Marcella took Raggedy Ann and went somewhere, all the dolls answered in chorus. I found something I must tell Raggedy Ann about, said Fido. Real live kittens! Three little tiny ones out in the barn. Oh, I wish Raggedy Ann was here, cried the French doll. She would know what to do about it. That's why I wanted to see her, said Fido. We will tell Raggedy Ann when she comes in, said the French doll. And Fido went out to play with a neighbor dog. So when Raggedy Ann had been returned to the nursery, the dolls could hardly wait until Marcella had put on their nighties and left them for the night. Then they told Raggedy Ann all about the kittens. Raggedy suggested all the dolls go out to the barn and see the kittens. This they did easily, for the window was open, and it was but a short jump to the ground. They found Fido out near the barn watching a hole. I was afraid something might disturb them, he said, for Mama Cat went away about an hour ago. All the dolls, with Raggedy Ann in the lead, crawled through the hole and ran to the basket. Just as Raggedy Ann started to pick up one of the kittens, there was a lot of howling and yelping, and Fido came bounding through the hole with Mama Cat behind him. When they had circled the barn two or three times, Fido managed to find the hole and escape to the yard. I'm surprised at you, Mama Cat, said Raggedy Ann. Fido has been watching your kittens for an hour while you were away. He wouldn't hurt them for anything. I'm sorry then, said Mama Cat. Have you told the folks up at the house about your dear little kittens? Raggedy Ann asked. Oh my, no, exclaimed Mama Cat. At the last place I lived, the people found out about my kittens, and do you know all the kittens disappeared? I intend keeping this a secret. But all the folks at this house are very kind people and would dearly love your kittens, cried all the dolls. After a great deal of persuasion, Mama Cat finally consented. Raggedy Ann took two of the kittens and carried them to the house while Mama Cat carried the other. In the morning when Marcella came to the nursery, the first thing she saw were the three little kittens. She cried out in delight and carried them all to show Mama and Daddy. Mama and Daddy said the kittens could stay in the nursery. Marcella finally decided upon three names. Prince Charming for the white kitten, Cinderella the Maltese, Princess Golden for the kitty with the yellow stripes. So that is how the three little kittens came to live in the nursery. I'm done, Daddy. Okay. Don't forget to wipe, flush, and wash your hands. Now we have to wipe ourselves, Teddy. I'll show you how. Wipe, wipe, wipe yourself, always front to back. Carefully, carefully, now you have the knack. Wipe, wipe, wipe yourself, always front to back. Carefully, carefully, now you have the knack. yourself always front to back carefully carefully now you have the knack wipe 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 yourself always front to back carefully carefully now you have the knack now we have to flush and wash our hands then we will be all ready for Bobby's birthday party She is a super duper pooper. She can potty with the best. No more diapers to get in her way. We are very impressed. She is a super duper pooper. She knows when she has to go. Take a bow, she's a big girl now. She's the best pooper we know. The party's about to begin. Come on, let's go.
I'm a clown. Whoa! I'm a clown. <laughs> I tried to make you laugh. Don't like to see you frown. I'm a clown. That's right, that's right. I'm a clown. <laughs> I want to make you smile when you are feeling down. We'll make magic to have it up your sleeve. Oh, we'll make magic if you just believe I'm a clown. Oh, 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 so are you. That's right, don't you see? Put on your party smile. You'll be a great clown, too. Your sleeve. Look at here. We'll make magic <laughs> if you just believe. Oh, I'm a clown. Yeah, so are you, and you, and you, and you. <laughs> Put on your party smile. You'll be a great clown too. <laughs> When you're sitting very quietly, it can happen when you're standing there under a tree. It could happen to a he. It could happen to a she. But you'll always know when you have to pee. Yes, what is it, young man? I need to go to the party. Me too. Me too. Oh. I already went to the party. Very well. Anyone who needs to go to the party, line up behind me right now. Let's go. Come on, parents, you take care of the rest. Yeah. All right, then, ready? Yeah, sound off. Three, four, marching. Here we go. Like mommy showed you to. Okay, first you pull up your sleeves. This is the 